Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy, DMD, and man, we got more Travis Scott. As I said, man, I'm, I'm going to be paying close attention to this Travis Scott thing. And uh, we got some more information. Travis Scott will cover funeral calls for the victims of Asherworld, which he should. And I applaud him for doing that. You know what I'm saying? Um, he, he definitely needs to come up off the money, not only the funeral, counseling, hospital bills, Whatever the family needs to, you know, deal with this situation, Travis Scott, Live Heart Nation, they need to make sure that the family are taken care of. Not only that, but um, it seems like that the um, they released the names of the people who um, lives were taken um, at the festival. So. Let's watch this video. Hello, everyone, and thanks for joining us on this Monday. I'm Rekha Mutaraj in for Sherman Chow. We are learning more about the tragedy that unfolded at Astro World Fest Friday night. Eight people lost their lives. And just a short time ago, we learned the names and ages of those eight victims. They were. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is. Mm, mm, mm. Damn, 14, 16, 20, 21, 21, 23, 23, 27. Whew, young people. Young, young, young people. Oh, man. Range in age from 14 to 27 years old, and the victims are from different cities across Texas as well as other parts of the country. In the coming days, we're going to hear more about them from loved ones. Now, the tragedy at Astro World has left the community reeling. City leaders have vowed to get to the bottom of what happened at the music festival to ensure it never happens again. David Gonzalez, live outside NRG Park, where folks continue to stop by and pay their respects to the lives lost. And David, folks even more heartbroken as we are learning the victims' names. Rekha, it's just a very, very sad time here in Houston. People continue to stop by this growing memorial outside of NRG Park, and they're dropping off things like handwritten notes, balloons and flowers. And now we can confirm the identity of all eight victims killed here during Astro World Music Festival on Friday. Just moments ago, Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo released their names. They're identified as 14-year-old John Hilgert, 16-year-old Brianna Rodriguez, 20-year-old Jacob Juranek, 21-year-old Franco Patino, 21-year-old Axel Acosta, 23-year-old Madison Dubuski, 23-year-old Rodolfo Rudy Peña, and 27-year-old Donesh Vega. Houston Mayor Sylvester Turner says the criminal investigation could last several weeks or even longer. The mayor says they're reviewing the site and also security plans, as well as talking to organizers, producers, and witnesses. Mayor Turner says right now they're focused on meeting the needs of those affected. We owe it to each and every one of them. Uh, to make sure that this safe setting is as safe as possible. And that's why we are determined to look at every single detail to make sure that no stone is left unturned. Right now, there are several petitions out there that have garnered thousands of signatures calling for Travis Scott to be pulled as a headliner from this weekend's day in Vegas and next year's Coachella Festival. Petition organizers want the producers of those music festivals to remove Travis Scott for what they call gross negligence and disregard for human life. And right now, we have not heard from Travis Scott as to if he plans to perform at this weekend's festival in Las Vegas. Back to you, Reka. All right, David, thank you for the very latest. We are learning more about the victims who have been identified by their loved ones. Some of the victims attending school in the Houston area. Michelle Choi outside NRG Park with more on this. Rika, all eight of these victims were loved by their friends and family. A growing memorial here outside Energy Park is just one way those touched by this tragedy are honoring and remembering them. We now know the names of all eight victims released by the Harris County Medical Examiner's Office. They include 20-year-old Jacob Jarenik, a college student from Naperville, Illinois. According to our affiliate station in Chicago, he was best friends with 21-year-old Franco Patino, who also died at the festival. Patino was from Illinois as well and a student at the University of Dayton. 
The other 21-year-old victim has been identified as Axel Acosta and is from Washington. 27-year-old Donesh Baig was from North Texas. His family tells us he died while protecting his fiance from being trampled. 23-year-old Rudy Pena was a college student from Laredo who came to the festival with friends. The other three victims were all from the Houston area. 23-year-old Madison Dubisky from Cyprus. 14-year-old John Hilgert was a freshman at Memorial High School. And finally, 16-year-old Brianna Rodriguez was a student at Heights High School. This morning, her classmates wore pink in honor of her. Pink ribbons also lined the fence and were tied around trees on campus. Students tell us Brianna was a beloved member of the school's dance team. I was definitely crying over the weekend just thinking about why it had to be her specifically. It was just eight people and she had to be one of them. So, yeah, I was just heartbroken and um, I'm hoping that we can create a last show for her to not remember her with pain, but rather with a cheerful attitude. School officials tell us grief counselors are now on hand for students and staff for as long as they're needed. The victims were also remembered during a prayer vigil last night in downtown Houston, organized by Mattress Mac. We heard from a number of local leaders from that event, all telling us that they are keeping the victims' families in their thoughts and prayers. Rekha. Choi, thank you so much. In the wake of this concert tragedy, lawsuits are already being filed. A press conference is scheduled for one this afternoon to discuss one of those lawsuits, and Ugochi Iloka shares more about the legal action that's being taken. Houston attorney Tony Busby around 2.30 p.m. today will be surrounded by the family of Axel Acosta to explain why they're suing. Now, Acosta died at the Astroworld Fest concert Friday night here at NRG Park, where you can see a memorial for victims stands now. Now, the Busby Law Firm is also representing more than 10 other concert goers who were injured when the crowd surged towards the stage. Travis Scott and Astro World Festival organizers are listed in several lawsuits that we know of, and there could be more on the way. The Kirker Garcia Law Firm is representing a 35 year old concert goer who they say was trampled. The lawsuit was filed on behalf of a man who is seeking more than $1 million in damages, claiming defendants failed to properly plan and conduct the concert safely. The victim was crushed, plain and simple. Know for certain that Travis Scott has been sued before for people getting injured at his concerts based on known risks that were presented to him and his team. The lawsuit also accuses the Houston rapper of encouraging a culture of violence, citing past incidents at prior concerts as examples. Reporting at NRG Park, Ugochi Iloka, KHOU 11 News. Ugochi, thank you so much. We do have continuing coverage of the tragedy. At Ooh, man. Mm -mm -mm. Tragic, man. Tragic, tragic, tragic. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm over here eating my breakfast. Um, I just wanted to give y'all the, 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 the new information that the eight victims that are listed, I mean, they, it could possibly be more than eight, but the eight people that they are telling us, um, these are the, man, wow. Precious lives are, are taken away at a concert where they were supposed to just have fun. <sighs> sad, man, it's sad. But um, I, I definitely will um, keep y'all updated on this Travis Scott thing. Like I said, more information is gonna be coming out and I'm definitely gonna be on top of this story. Um, but for right now, these are the eight people that um, lost their lives at the Travis Scott <laughs> Festival, so. Um, rest in peace. Uh, my prayers and condolences to the family, friends of these eight people. It's sad, man. It's sad. It's your boy, damn DM, signing out.